Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our subwoofer platform. We've been selling a lot of these, building a lot of them, and uh, people really, really like them. So I wanted to kind of bring it to everybody's attention in case you're not familiar with it. So a sub is really a large radiating box. Yes, energy comes out the front where the driver is. It also comes out the sides, top, bottom, and rear. I mean, it's a huge energy, you know, relating source. It, it just produces energy all over the place. So um, you got to realize that it's, it's coming from, from everywhere in the, uh, in the cabinet area, in the driver. So what, what can we do with our platforms? Well, our platforms are carbon technology. That's our ACDA10 technology. Sometimes we do our ACDA12 technology in the sub, depending on the usage of the sub and the frequency range. But as a general rule, it's more broadband. Because most of these subs, you know, they run 30 to 100, 30 to 100 and a quarter, stuff like that. So if it's just you're after the 30, 40, 50 cycle problems, then we go with the 12s and a little bit thicker cabinet. So that's how we work that. So it's tunable. So we want to elevate, isolate, and attenuate with a subwoofer platform. Elevate, get it off the floor. You'll automatically improve room response. Now, how far? Off the floor depends on room dimensions, usage, pressure levels in the room. Remember, there's no one size fits all, so we got to have some more information. But we can figure it out. We can calculate it. So, uh, well, I got two elevates here. No, I don't. Okay, isolate. That's our next one. Subs move. You put them on the floor. The floor moves. You put them close to the floor. The floor moves. Down firing subs. The floor moves. So the goal is to reduce the vibration transmission from the cabinet or the sub to the supporting structure, the floor. We don't want the floor moving, okay? It's gonna move enough with energy in the room after a while, after it starts to load. So we don't, we need, we need that. So we isolate that with the platform. It's on even on casters, so you get more isolation. Attenuate, there's no better way to absorb low frequency energy, then to put your low frequency absorption technology as close to that source as you can, as close to the subwoofer as you can. If I had my way, I'd have panels all the way around that sub. I'd have those modules that we just discussed. But you want to absorb as close to the source as you can. Get it as fast as you can before it gets out into the room and becomes the domain of the room. Then you got other issues. Like I said before, casters, easy positioning. It's gonna take, a lot of times people are looking for, where do I put the sub? And my answer is, I don't know. We have to experiment. We have to have some starting points. We have to have a process. We have to have a strategy and use tactics to solve the strategy. So when you have a, some of these subs I see weigh 350 pounds. I'm building a platform one now, 350 pounds. So that needs to be on casters. And the beautiful thing about that is you can move it to different parts of the room. You can test. I can show you how to test as you're doing that. Well, you can do it in real time. Just generate a steady uh, st state sine wave signal out of your speakers. Move this up around and, and watch pressure meters. You can do it. It's not that hard. So the beautiful thing about the casters is it uh, it's, uh, gives you that flexibility to position and tune. Okay. Uh, most of our platforms are kind of heavy, you know, because we put now a bottom and a top. And you can check out this one we did for PMC speakers. That's in the Warner Brothers studio at Noise Alchemy. So look at this. You can see the top and what the, <laughs> the guys did. They wanted to go ahead and put the logo, PMC's logo. So I said, go ahead, do what you want to do. You know, they like to do stuff like that. So it looks nice. You can see that it you know, the, the CNC machine cut it, the logo out, and it really looks good, so. And then you got the base with the caster, so you have the top piece and the base with the caster, so it's a two-piece unit. This is a really for the professional market. Consumer market, we don't use the top piece. We'll build them for you if you want, but it's uh, more expensive, so. So there it is, subwoofer platform, elevate, isolate, and attenuate. Those are the three things we want to do with the subwoofer platform, and our sub platforms do that. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. 
We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.